Hey guys, welcome to Extensible Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and I am back with another episode. And this is Instinctual Tarot, um, and we're going to talk about time today. Because it was just really heavy on me. Um, and a reading I did really, um, really zeroed in on the time that we have, the time that we take out, and so forth and so forth. For certain things in our life, you know, we make time for the things that we don't make time for and so forth and so forth so um yeah i was in traffic and i was hearing all these um it was just mad subliminal messages that was just hitting me in my head about um time and me coming from the readings and teachings that i come from i noticed that time is not a factor you know, in spirituality, we don't look at time as something as a negative um, factor. Like, oh, you don't have enough time or you don't, you know, I'm saying whatever have you. But in the same instance, time is very relevant in the world that we live on, <laughs> so to speak. And um, yeah, so we're going to talk about that today and just get a little bit into it. Um I had a couple of readings that I came across, um, and one of them that I got from a source, J Soar, which is J S T O R dot org, and um, they had this piece up there written by W H Shelding, and the piece is called "The Spirituality of Time." It is out of the Journal of Philosophy, um, and that was written March eighteenth, nineteen. 26 and basically um to sum it up i would um encourage all you guys to read that piece because it really um hit home on the basic factors of what i'm trying to talk about today of how time doesn't matter <laughs> in a way of sense of if you alleviate alleviate time that um I say alleviate, eliminate time that you would um, basically live in a more structured way and path of doing things and then find yourself in this structured way of meeting goals, um, meeting assignments and so forth in a way that um, there's no bounds, no, you're not bounded by anything not constructed by certain things that you would if time stayed a factor in your life right and it said this part about um time has property no length or nor duration and within that 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 spoke volumes to me about um time doesn't have no length or time of duration but um duration but it does point out how it is property and if you head over to the Webster Dictionary of Time, the essential meaning of time is the thing that is measured as seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, etc. And that was interesting to me that it explained that time is a thing, you know, person, place, a thing, that it is a structure fact. But when you get to the spirituality, metaphysical, meaning of time it has all base all structure but no substance so it's more of a mass situation um in talking about time or what so have you and um so with that being said, um, looking at time as something that either can affect you in a positive or negative way, um, really, that you know, put a spin on things. We really start to research the, the small things that, you know, we sometimes take for granted. I thought that was really big about that. But I'm going to head right into the conversation of time between... Um, friends 
because um, I learned personally in my personal life that uh, a lot of my time was I wouldn't say wasted because it's all lessons but um, sometimes we can stay within a barrier of time you know if we look at it looking at it as a thing on this 3d (laughs) if we look at time as a thing you can see how then your time can be swindled or wasted so have you and um that really hit home to me on a basic structure level because you know you spend your time with certain um energies that ultimately can deplete you leave you in a case of malnourishment right and then we go into this whole case of oh um being angry and unpleasant with situations when we find out that our time was swindled (laughs) or not took in for you know true means of what it is right so within that I learned basically that um you gotta have this certain nourishment for feed to the energies that you interact with to feed within you also because you also can't be depleted of always feeding always being the one to give the encouragement information always being the one to be the optimistic yeah that's cool referenced right but at the end of the day when that energy needs to be returned um, you're left depleted and nine out of ten the person that got the energy from you didn't transmute that into something more positive you know sometimes that go into one ear and out the other in certain aspects then you got people that would take you and um, feed right back into you and letting you know that the information or energy that you gave them was positive right and that will lead me right into time with relationships i really felt that um you really get a look at time and relationships when you realize okay um i was in a relationship where i put time barriers on my relationships like oh if this don't happen between this you know i'm not gonna do this and very masculine arrogant on top of that like um my way or the highway either way you come off um very structured and limitations are all set (laughs) within that right because you are not really living like the fool you know um open to the possibilities of change and the things that come in so once you put the time as a thing to the side i think we open ourselves up to a more um more accepting place right so right now being in mercury retrograde i think is very important (laughs) and having this libra new moon at this point um i think it is amazing how we're handling this mercury retrograde i think it's gonna speak for years to come because um usually things coming back from the past that comes up to you know confront us in situations usually we are very uh, very apprehensive very not forthcoming to you know those type of energies but now it's just something about the turns of the ties about how um, everybody is just going for theirs um making their statements known being proud about um their endeavors and how their convictions are being um being 3d you know very out there very you know i really feel that stepping into this newness of um if we can think about when i first came into spiritualism um i learned that retrograde was just uh, communication and bad communication and 
not really accepting or being confronted with the negative and it, it was nothing on how do we you know overcome these situations and it took absolutely years for me for me personally to get that you know now you you confront that energy head on you know what i'm saying and i think this go around of how we are still you know pushing through through everything you know what i'm saying it is very it's very <laughs> joyful and there's a lot of blessings in this situation that we're heading into so i'm just like all for the energy of how i'm accepting time how i'm able to now tell you guys um how time and I don't know who need to hear this, but just let you know that let's put the time on the back burner and uh, really take on our goals and our ambitions and anything we want to go for, like head on, you know, because I think that is going to set us into what we need to do and how we need to go moving forward. And personally, it is all for growth. I mean, if it, if it wasn't for the personal growth and all these lovely situations that we have going on in our life, taking it with the bad. I'm not saying that everything is every day all gravy. I mean, without the shadow, where would we be? But understanding that, okay, I can be okay with this time I'm going to take myself off that um oh if I'm not married and so and so time I'm going to become you know very <laughs> promiscuous <laughs> or I'm going to you know wait on spirit no I don't think that is where we should go with that I understand what waiting on spirit means is meaning finding that person that you see God in, that you see spirit in, whoever, you know, um, whoever you get your power from, your glory, your blessings, and it, it, that is okay. But if you're not willing to accept meeting the criticism that we take on in relationships head on, I don't understand how we're going to, you know, progress in Within that is a lot of learning of understanding the BS when it comes to you, right? Understanding you now you can spot it in a mile away with, within two seconds of the conversation. I mean, it's joy and amazing things within that. So having this grounded new newness of time and how we spend that within our family, friends, and relationships are going to ultimately, you know, I mean, since I realized it and, you know, went to school on it, read up on the esoterics of it, and I, now I get, you know, I really, really get it. It's very personal when it comes to the um, factors of how you look at time in your own personal life and not as just such a thing but more as property and um this was dre eden this was instinctual tarot podcast this was time and um yeah thank you guys for listening you know if you like this please share please subscribe um because I will be back with much more and um, definitely on a daily basis from now on. So um, make sure you guys come back for more knowledge, more share, more community, you know. And um, I'm Dre Eden. Many blessings. <laughs>